Okay, so in this problem, we are given the barrel of a spring gun with a spring inside. The mass of the barrel is M2, and the barrel is sitting on a frictionless surface. Then there is a ball of mass M1, which is going towards the gun with the, with the velocity V initial. So after the ball enters the gun, it compresses the spring, and at the same time, the whole barrel with the ball inside start moving with the, with the velocity v. So that's the statement of the problem. The question is, what is the compression, maximum compression of the spring delta x? So we are given the masses, the initial velocity of the ball, final velocity of the barrel and the gun when the ball is uh, when the spring is compressed and we are given the k constant of the spring so how do we find delta x the maximum compression well there are two laws that we can use the first one is the conservation of total mechanical energy as you as you can see there is no friction so there is no loss in energy, in the mechanical energy, so we can say that total mechanical energy initial is equal to the total mechanical energy final or potential energy initial plus kinetic energy initial equals potential energy final plus kinetic energy final. Potential energy initial is equal to zero because at the initial state the spring is neither compressed nor stretched so we can say that this is zero kinetic energy initial is just the kinetic energy of the ball so that is equal to m1 the initial square over 2 potential energy final is the potential energy of the spring when it's compressed to the maximum compression so we can say k delta x square over 2 Potential energy, uh, sorry, kinetic energy is the kinetic energy of the barrel and the ball. So the total mass is m1 plus m2. Velocity is v, so v squared over 2. We can cancel 2 on both sides of the equation and then we can solve for delta x. But we will still need to know what is the uh, final velocity v. It's actually not uh, given in the problem. So to find this final velocity we can use the second conservation law which has to do with the momentum. Remember that the floor is frictionless so in the horizontal direction there are no external forces acting on the system and if there is no external force the momentum of the system is conserved. So we can say that but momentum of the system initial is equal to the momentum of the system final. Now, in the general form, we should write this in a vector form, but if we introduce the axis, let's say this one is the positive axis pointing to the left, then we don't need the vectors if we keep in mind the direction. So here, uh, in the initial state, this is, the ball is the only thing that's moving, with the velocity v initial, so we can say that p initial is equal to m1 v initial. In the final state, the ball and the barrel are moving, so this is equal to m1 plus m2 v. So from here, v is equal to v initial m1 over m1 plus m2. So now we can take this V and plug it in the original equation. So we have M1 V initial square equals K delta X square plus V initial square m1 square 
divided by m1 plus m2 because 1 and 1 plus m2 will be cancelled here. So this is equal to m1 squared over m1 plus m2. So delta x is therefore equal to square root 1 over k m1 the initial square minus m1 square the initial square over m1 plus m2 so let's make this a little tidy so you have square root m1 the initial square over k 1 minus m1 over m1 plus m2 now if you substitute for the numbers and the numbers are given in the problem this gives you 0.193 meters or 19.3 centimeters and that's the maximum compression of the spring.